Hello guys, welcome back to Movie You Storyteller Channel. I will tell the storyline of the movie entitled The Great Wall 2016, namely in the past. A group of European mercenaries traveled to the far east in search of legendary gunpowder, which could turn air into fire and become a source of their wealth if brought back to Europe. They are attacked by a mysterious creature, but William, one of the mercenaries, manages to kill the creature. Two of the mercenaries, William and Tovar, were captured by local forces known as the Nameless Order, who held them inside the Great Wall. The Nameless Order tells them that the creature is Tao Te, a species that attacks once every 60 years. And the specimen killed by William is a harbinger of their impending attack. What's the story? Before getting to the story, don't forget to like and subscribe so that this channel grows and accompanies your day. Let's just get to the story. The Great Wall of China has stood for centuries as one of the most enduring wonders at over 8,800 kilometers long. Its construction took more than 1,700 years. In addition to protection from harm, the wall also protects the inhabitants from an ancient Chinese mythological creature, which is one of the four evil beings, called Tao Te. The story will focus on a group of European mercenaries who have just escaped the pursuit of a local hill tribe by releasing horses to distract them. They have been traveling for six months and lost 21 men in their search for gunpowder, which is predicted to kill many people at a time. Even though they no longer had maps, medicine, and enough food, William still wanted to go north to find what he was looking for. While preparing to continue their journey, they were suddenly attacked by an unknown creature, which left one of William's companions dead. Armed with instinct and decades of combat experience, William managed to cut off the leg and kill the invisible creature. Later, he took the severed leg with him to find out what creature he had just faced. The next morning, William and his partner Tovar were again pursued by the unyielding hill tribe. In their escape, they unknowingly ran towards the Chinese wall, which was heavily guarded by hundreds or even thousands of troops with complete weaponry. The troops were ready to finish off anyone who approached their territory. Given their small numbers and not wanting to waste their energy fighting the hill tribes, William and Tovar chose to surrender themselves to the Chinese Great Wall troops in the hope of getting free soon and continuing their journey. However, because of the piece of leg brought by William, the higher-ups from the general to the commander were gathered to interrogate where William could get the leg from. William was interrogated by a commander named Lin Mei. They wanted to know where and how he got it, because it was considered impossible to kill him alone. That's... I killed it. Alone? He said he was alone. He was alone? How William almost died on the spot, but thanks to the accurate autopsy results from strategist Wang, who could prove and support their claims, William and Tovar were finally decided to be held captive indefinitely. Right at the same time, a guard came to report an attack from a creature later known as Tao Te. Because the scout was killed by William, it triggered the appearance of Tao Te faster than the Wang strategists had predicted. So it also triggered them to withstand the creature's attack by building a great wall that protects humanity from the destruction caused by Tao Te on this earth. Tao Te is known as an alien race with high intelligence that attacks human civilization. Its movement starts from the north with increasingly intense attacks every 60 years. The appearance of the Tao Te began with the fall of a meteor on Mount Gohu, which then released a horde of aliens, coinciding with the reign of a cruel emperor. This led people to believe that the Tao Te was sent by God to punish the emperor for his abuse of power and unbridled greed. Thus, 
an army known as the Order Clan was formed to safeguard the survival of humanity from his threat. Since William was considered the only person capable of killing Tao Te single-handedly, he was included in the battle to repel the attack by seeing him at gunpoint aimed at his shoulder. After preparations had been made and all the soldiers were in position, Tao Te and his entourage of fast-moving troops attacked the wall from a distance. The Order Clan began the attack by deploying its long-range troops, while Tao Te's frontline troops continued to advance, braving the hail of arrows and fireballs that rained down on them. The experienced commander orders his troops to aim for the creature's eyes so that it dies painlessly. As the attack is still broken, Tao Te gets closer, and the general deploys his death dare troops led by Lin Mei at the forefront. Where they immediately attack Tao Te, who starts to climb the wall, using a spear in a scene that is impossible to do. We are also shown the queen of the Tao Te creatures who orders her troops to continue pounding the Order Clan's defenses with all their might. Strategist Wang, who sees the queen from a distance, immediately suggests that the general attack the queen if he wants this battle to end soon. Unsuccessful in his efforts, the Order Clan was further pushed back when some of the creatures began to break through their defenses. The general again deployed his close combat fleet to eradicate them at any cost. Due to a lack of personnel to deal with the creatures, the guard, who we'll call Samsel, was forced to leave William and Tovar out of his care. However, because he is relatively small and still an amateur, Samsel must be overwhelmed when facing these creatures. William and Tovar, who had been freed, immediately came to help by doing their best. Thanks to the deadly duet and cooperation between the two, William managed to paralyze the creature. What's interesting is that Tao Te has a very regular and organized command system led by a queen who is at the back of the line by sending telepathic signals to her soldiers. Tao Te also has the ability to adapt quickly to human defense strategies where they can learn from mistakes and change their attack patterns. Apart from that, Tao Te are also very greedy and do not hesitate to eat humans or fellow Tao Te who are injured, and if their queen dies. Then, it is certain that all Tao Te will suffer the same fate. Therefore, the defense of the queen is very strict in order to maintain the survival of these alien shitheads. After witnessing the abilities of William and Tovar, they finally received proper treatment from the Order Clan by providing a place for them to clean themselves and rest. Later that night, William is surprised by Ballard, a European fellow seeker of gunpowder, which is said to be a secret weapon possessed by China. However, he was captured and made to teach English to the Order Clan commanders for the past 25 years. Unsatisfied with his fate and wanting to become a wealthy man, he plans to steal the gunpowder and escape with the help of William and Tavar to return to Europe. So, Ballard offers them a chance to get rich by bringing gunpowder back to Europe. Meanwhile, outside the walls, the West Tower came under attack from Tao Te, who paralyzed the guards until there were none left. The general who tried to save Commander Lin from the attack had to breathe his last and hand over his leadership to Commander Lin. After careful investigation and observation by strategist Wang, it was tentatively concluded that most likely the magnetic stone used as a compass, which was also often carried by William, seemed to have some kind of effect that could make Tao Te a deaf alien, as well as unable to catch instructions from his queen. That was the reason why William was able to paralyze Tao Te by himself. So, 
The only way to prove the theory was to capture one Tao Te in the next battle. Led by Commander Lin and Strategist Wang, they prepared the stunned spears to capture Tao Te according to William's plan. Despite the careful planning, obstacles still arose. which were eventually overcome by jumping directly into the middle of the battlefield to catch an escaped Tao Te. And lucky for William, because the anesthetic use worked so well that he easily bound the creature to be brought back to the Great Wall. When William was caught off guard by the situation, Tovar suddenly came to his rescue. For the umpteenth time, they performed combat actions with extraordinary skill to withstand the attacks of the creature. As they were being pushed back, Commander Lin directed his blaster force to disperse the attack to save them both. After it was proven that magnetism was the creature's weakness, the Imperial officer foolishly forced strategist Wang to hand over the cursed creature to the Emperor. In fact, the creature should have been researched, studied and analyzed in order to come up with preventive solutions and strategies to deal with this problem. The creature was made into a spectacle and a pet in the Imperial court. As a result, Tao Te regained consciousness and managed to communicate with their queen, who had managed to break through the Great Wall through a tunnel. Right at the same time, Tovar and Ballard were seen launching an action to escape with gunpowder from the storage warehouse. William, who had changed his mind, had also prevented their actions, because it was useless to be rich if the risk was to die eaten by Tao Te. While the argument was going on, Ballard suddenly cut a rope just to be able to open all the locks in the brothel. Tovar betrayed his friendship with William for treasure and throne, which he didn't get either. He was betrayed by Ballard, who boldly left him in the middle of the desert alone. A similar fate befell William, who was accused of stealing gunpowder, because it was found in a storage warehouse. However, his bad luck was saved by Samsel, who witnessed the incident. William himself decided to join the fight with the Order clan, accompanied by Samsel. Strategist Wang again advised William that the only way to end this nightmare was to kill the Queen. Meanwhile, Ballard was captured by the Hill Tribe who immediately seized all his gunpowder. Because of the tribe's stupidity, there was an incident that made them all die silly. Although Tovar managed to get the gunpowder from the Hill Tribe and Ballard who died due to their own carelessness, Tovar still ended up being captured and brought back to the Great Wall to serve his sentence. Long story short, Commander Lin, William, and Strategist Wang immediately went to the Emperor to retrieve the captive, Tao Te, as bait. They then attached explosives to the Tao Te's body and supplied it with food, which we know that any Tao Te that gets food will return to its queen to hand over the food. Making their way through the culvert, Commander Lin, along with his troops and William, carried the explosive-filled Tao Te. As the creature began to break through and chase them, Samsel bravely sacrificed himself by blowing himself up, just as the creature was getting closer. Thanks to Samsel's sacrifice, the bait was finally released and returned to its queen. However, 
William's attempt to trigger the explosives carried by the decoy had to fail many times due to the Tau Te defense, which was very difficult to penetrate. At the last second, their hiding place was filled with Tau Te ready to pounce. At that moment, Commander Lin and William jumped in for a combination attack, where Commander Lin threw a magnet at the Queen, followed by an explosive armed arrow. After it was all over, Lin Mei was finally promoted and became a general in the Nameless Order clan. Meanwhile, William, who had made merit and become a hero, was offered to take as much gunpowder as he wanted. However, William preferred to free his best friend, live a new life, and return to Europe with his comrade-in-arms. Oh.